You're ready now to do your fourth project. Um, the project is to find the uh, numerical values for the zeros of the Bessel functions. Bessel functions are widely used functions in applied mathematics. Uh, they're used when you solve partial differential equations, uh, particularly associated with uh, uh, electromagnetic theory, if you uh, need that, say, as an electrical engineer. But here I want you to flex your new muscles on doing quadrature numerical integration. We won't use interpolation in this problem, but we'll use both interpolation and root finding. So you'll be able to combine two of the uh, numerical methods that you've learned. So the Bessel function is de is, can be defined in terms of an integral. So the nth Bessel function, n will be 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So the uh, j sub n of x is defined by 1 over pi times the integral from 0 to pi of the cosine of x times sine theta minus n theta. This n is the same as this n index here, uh, integrated over d theta. Okay. Um, this is our x-axis here. This is plotting uh, the first two Bessel functions, or at least sketching the first two Bessel functions. So if we find the value of j naught of x as a function of x, um, you should do that, actually. You should do this computation before you try to find zeros. Get a picture of what the Bessel functions look like. If you look at j naught of x, it will start um, up here uh, on this axis, and then um, we'll come down and cross the x-axis here, and then a second time, and then a third time, and then a fourth time. Those are what are called the zeros. So this value here is what I will call j, little j, of um, the nth Bessel function, so the zeroth Bessel function, but the first zero. Okay, so that's this value here. This one here, then, uh, would be called j, the zero Bessel function, but the second zero. This one here would be j, the zero Bessel function, and the third zero, and so on. On the other hand, if you plot j1 of x, so you put n equals 1 here, it starts at 0 and then crosses the x-axis, crosses the x-axis, etc. So this value here where it crosses, I will call j1 corresponding to n equals 1, first 0. This one here then will be j of 1, 2, and then um, continuing this one here will be j of 1, 3. Okay? So those are the zeros of the Bessel function. So to compute the zero, that's a root finding problem, right? You want to say, find where j naught of x uh, goes to zero. And then you have multiple roots, not just one root, multiple roots. So the problem is to find the uh, first five roots, the first five zeros of the first six Bessel functions. Okay? So obviously you use a for loop here. So you're going to be looping over the roots. You're going to be looping over the Bessel functions, the values of n. Okay? You're going to use uh, two built-in uh, functions in MATLAB. To do the integral, you can use uh, integral uh, dot m as your MATLAB function. Okay? To do find the zeros, you can use f0 dot m. Okay? So this is an exercise then in um, 
calling integral.m properly, calling f0.m properly, and constructing the, um, the for loops so that you can go through the zeros. Uh, you need to find the roots, you need initial uh, guesses, right? Initial guesses for the roots. Okay, you can do that. Um, if you were doing this from scratch, you can do that in one of two ways. Um, the no cheating way is you can plot the function and then pick out uh, approximate values for the roots and then just put in the approximate values for the roots in your code. The cheating way would just be look them up online. So um, I did the cheating way for you inside of your um, template for your code, I put in these initial guesses for the roots. So basically your code then is going to refine the values of the zeros and then print out the values, okay? Um, I think this is an interesting exercise because it, it allows you to combine then two very important um, uh, numerical methods, um, integration and root finding. Um, I hope you enjoy the uh, programming. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.